condom vending machines. That is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Yes, I'm Roman and I'm still in Germany, Berlin to be precise. And if I thought, why not do a video about the culture shocks I've experienced so far? Let's go. Number one, parking in the road. That was super weird to me because I observed that there were three lanes in Germany. So the first lane is, well, a lane where vehicles or people may pass. And the second lane, which is here, is a lane for parking in the middle of the road, literally. And then the lane after that, which is the third lane, is also for vehicles moving by. I found that super weird. <laughs> How do you just park in the middle of the road? It was super weird. That's the parking sign. So strange. You can see that there's literally no one in the car. How is it even possible to have people park in the middle of the road? Oh my God. Number two expert English speakers. I was told that here in, here in Germany in general a lot of persons speak English and so I was open to the idea that yeah maybe every five out of ten persons I meet will speak English but out of all the persons I've met I think everyone I've met or maybe nine of ten persons whom I've met actually speak English and they speak it to a very high level so that is simply amazing for me personally. Number three fashion. Every guy or almost every guy I saw had some short shorts that's super weird. I'm used to seeing girls wearing shorts like that, not, not guys. Now talking about clothing, I will go to my fourth culture shock, which is sort of tied to fashion. So it was super weird to me that you can be rejected from a club based on how you dress. I did not know that. So there were some guys where I was staying and we were talking and they said that they were rejected from a club because they were dressed too well. <laughs> they were well dressed. And they were told that they are not dressed for the club. However, they what they had on was normal clothes and so they couldn't enter and i was told that some clubs have a specific outfit or a style range and that was super weird to me number five condom and cigarette machines that is so weird so let's start with these cigarette machines i actually saw this one so i didn't know that they were just machines specifically for cigarettes i suppose germans smoke a lot and in terms of condoms i hadn't got the chance to see one of them i just didn't have the chance to see any. I kept asking directions on my German socks, but and I wasn't finding any. A police, even a police told me where to find one, but I didn't see it. But I don't know. Maybe I didn't understand what you said. Number six. I've observed that when I was in Berlin, there are a lot of pride flags. That was super strange again for me because I'm not used to that. Literally everywhere I go, I see a pride flag. The business places, m places where you have monuments, uh, the train station. They were everywhere. So yeah, that was weird for me. Number seven, everyone drinks beer. It was so weird. Uh, I went walking in the old town and I realized that there were just miles and miles of bars and people drinking beer, standing and chanting, singing, having a good time. This girl recommended a beer to me. She said, this is what you need to try. You need to try the Alte Bier. But I didn't get a chance to, to, to grab that particular beer and what the girl recommended because uh, there were too many people, I hardly had any space, like, I, didn't, I didn't have any space. And even where I could find space, uh, I couldn't put my camera, I couldn't do anything and I wanted to rec record the experience, so yeah, unfortunately that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, there's something to it, it's not, a, it's not a culture shock. But number eight, it's not a culture shock, but it, it, it sort of is. Like most Germans people are told, I, and I, I felt super short, well, maybe not, not all of course, but, and I think they rank number four. They're, they're falling the top five of the world's tallest people and I just felt super short like I felt super short most times yeah it was weird <laughs> anyways that's all for today <laughs> anyways have you ever been to Germany uh, if you have what are some culture shocks that you've experienced um, <laughs> what's the most bizarre thing that you've experienced and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up uh, subscribe share of course leave a comment again even if you've not been to Germany and I'll see you next time Ciao. Ich bin selbstbewusst, ich meine uns selbstbewusst, bei jeder größeren Entscheidung, die man fällen muss. Unser Bewusstsein sagt uns, wir müssen uns bewusst sein.